Good evening. Good evening and thank you for coming. I want to welcome all of you to this very special event this evening, the, 20, the 2024 High School Equivalency Graduation. My name is Lori Kirstead Joseph, and I have the honor of serving as the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Adult Basic Education for College and Career at Pima Community College, where we help learners prepare for and obtain their high school equivalency diplomas. Tonight, we are all here to celebrate a group of individuals who have worked extremely hard to, make, to achieve a major life milestone. Tonight's graduates have studied online, studied in person, they've balanced work and family time, they've made sacrifices, and it has paid off. We are here tonight to celebrate their achievements. So, family and friends who may be watching at home on the live stream, and all of you here in the audience, staff and guests, let's hear from you. And please help me welcome the Pima County High School Equivalency Class of 2024. We know you did not make it to this event alone, and we know that you have the support and encouragement of your partners, your parents, your children, grandparents, teachers, and lots of others who helped you along this journey. So graduates, let's give all of your supporters and cheerleaders a round of applause. and family and teachers and staff, whether you're here with us in person or out there watching on the live stream, we know how proud you are of these graduates. I heard it. So let's give them one more round of applause and let's hear from them in that live chat too. Thanks, everybody. Graduates, please be seated. Whew. What a great group of graduates. So exciting. Tonight's, tonight's celebration is an acknowledgement of what you all have achieved, graduates, and we are so glad that you are here with us tonight so that we can celebrate you. Each year, Pima Community College makes a point to celebrate the courage, the perseverance, and the success of our high school equivalency or HSE graduates from all across Pima County. And again this year, we are collaborating with CAPE, the Court Alternative Program of Education for this HSE graduation. Representing the CAPE team this evening is my co-host, Shelly Duran. Please join me in welcoming Shelly to the podium. Thank you, Lori. Good evening and welcome. My name is Shelley Duran and I'm the school principal for our Cape Schools. Our Cape Schools are located in the Pima County Juvenile Detention Center and also at the Pima County Adult Detention Center. Cape benefits from a partnership with the juvenile court system and the Pima County Superintendent's Office. Together we provide educational programs for justice involved youth. Today our Cape High School equivalent our CAPE high school equivalency, but as we call it, GED, 
program includes the Goodwill Metro Engagement Centers, where some of our students, yes, where some of our students transition to complete their GED pathway. I'm excited to be here with all of you to celebrate all the high school equivalency graduates in Pima County. Whether you studied at Pima College, on your own, with CAPE, or with Goodwill Reengagement Centers, or with another community partner, we are here to celebrate you. So let's give them a big hand. As we get started, we'd like to take a moment for a land acknowledgement. We want to acknowledge that Pima Community College campuses and centers, the Cape locations, and tonight's graduation are all situated on the original homelands of the Tohono O'odham people and the Pasquayaki tribe who have stewarded this land since time immemorial. The practice of acknowledging the land of these sovereign nations brings to the forefront their enduring connection to this land regardless of historical and current colonization practices. Let's also acknowledge that we all benefit from these lands on which we work and we learn. We encourage each of you to learn about the land that we inhabit, the tribal communities connected to this land, and the ways in which you can contribute to the restorative practices related to land and community. Tonight, we have the Pasquayaki and Tohono O'odham flags on stage to honor the long history of this land and the indigenous peoples of our region. Now, we are excited to have some very special guests with us tonight. Leaders who understand the important role that adult education and the high school equivalency diploma play in helping adult learners to access and succeed in college and career. So please join us in welcoming to our stage our dignitaries for this evening. PCC Interim Chancellor, Dr. Dolores Duran Cerda. Pima County Juvenile Court Judge, the Honorable Michael Butler. PCC Board Chair, Teresa Riel. The State Director of Adult Education, Beverly Wilson. Pima County Superintendent of Public Instruction, Dustin Williams. PCC's Vice Chancellor for Workforce Development and Innovation, Dr. Ian Rourke. And PCC Board Member, Luis L. Gonzalez. Let's hear it for our leaders. Thank you for joining us. Please be seated. In addition to the leaders that we have here on stage this evening, we have some very important people, some VIPs who are with us here in the audience. We are so very thankful for the support of the community, elected, and college leaders who are here to celebrate with us this evening. So joining us in the VIP section right here in the front of the audience are Stephanie Stahl Hamilton, State Representative for District 21. Feel free to wave. Betty, Betty Villegas, State Representative for District 20. Nancy Gutierrez, State Representative for District 18. Mary Fleck, Southern Arizona Supervisor for Voca Vocational Rehabilitation. Marcy Euler, our President and CEO of the Pima Foundation. Amanda Abens, Dean, PCC's Dean of Workforce Development and Lifelong Learning. <laughs> Representing Congressman Juan Sescomani's office, Senior Advisor CJ Karamarjan. <laughs> Lance Meeks, the Director of Community Engagement for the Goodwill Reengagement Centers. <laughs> Larry Starks, the GED Program Coordinator for CAPE. and Charles Shipman, the State Refugee Coordinator. It speaks volumes that we have so many VIPs with us tonight. And each of these leaders is a champion for education, and we thank you for your ongoing support for youth and adult learners seeking their high school equivalency diplomas. Thank you for joining us tonight.
So let's take a moment to acknowledge the program staff and teachers who have supported these graduates, whether through Pima Adults Basic Education Program, the Goodwill Reengagement Centers, or CAPE Schools. Program staff, please stand to be recognized. Program staff. We, I heard you. <laughs> Teachers from CAPE. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here this evening to support our students and programs. Pima Community College, CAPE Schools, and Goodwill Reengagement Centers, thank you so much. So to kick things off, to get us started, we'd like to, and to welcome all of you to tonight's event, it is my great pleasure to introduce our interim chancellor from Pima Community College, Dr. Dolores Duran Cerda, to share some remarks. Welcome to the How are we doing? Excited? Yeah. Let me ask the students, how are you doing? Excellent. Well, good evening, everyone. Buenas tardes, buenas noches. Bienvenidos, welcome. Para mí es un gran honor y placer de estar aquí con todos ustedes esta noche. Nuestros estudiantes, sus seres queridos, profesores, consejeros y otros que los han apoyado a lo largo de esta trayectoria académica. It is an, hour, an honor and a pleasure to be here with all of you tonight. Our students, their families and friends, the instructors, advisors, counselors, and others who have supported you during this journey. First, congratulations to all the remarkable high school equivalency graduates of 2024. Please give yourselves a round of applause. And let's also recognize the HSE faculty, staff, advisors, and mentors who helped you along the way here at Pima. Let's give them a round of applause because it's a team effort. Today we gather to celebrate your incredible achievement, but it's also a milestone for those who stood beside you in your journey, your family and loved ones, whose continuous support, faith, and belief in you have been key to your success. Now, if your family, friends, and loved ones are here tonight, either in person or in spirit, let's give them a warm and grateful round of applause. Now, this is an amazing and diverse graduating class we have here tonight. And we are so proud of each and every one of you for your hard work, your dedication, and your drive to succeed. At Pima, we respect all beliefs, values, abilities, faiths, personal experiences and preferences, cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds and worldviews. We believe that our differences are our strength and a source of innovation and excellence. Consistent with our culture of care philosophy, all voices must be heard, valued, and respected. We are all part of this wonderful, diverse community. You represent our beautiful, rich, unique community here at Pima Community College. Diversity is and will always be our strength. I'd like to share a little bit about my story, too. Both of my parents came from very humble beginnings. They were first-generation students. My mom was the daughter of migrant workers from Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico, in Douglas, Arizona. Anybody here from Douglas or Agua Prieta? There we go. My dad was the youngest of seven children of a farmer in Chile, South America. But you know, I would never have been, he be, have been here speaking to you as the interim chancellor of Pima Community College if it hadn't have been for their support and guidance from my parents and my family. Each day, I am truly grateful for their inspiring support and belief in me. My parents are now gone, but they always remain in my heart. And I still hear their wise words of advice, their teachings, 
And I'd like to share some of these with you. You've probably heard some of these too before. As we know in many cultures, the oral tradition is important in raising children as a way to teach them values. And some of these are proverbs or dichos as we say in Spanish. So some of them that my parents and grandparents would tell me is, never forget where you come from. They wanted me to remember and honor our family's humble beginnings as migrant workers and farmers. Another one, el que persevera alcanza. That's right, never give up. It's okay to fall and stumble as long as you get up and try again. Failure is often our best teacher. You are here tonight because you have grit. In Spanish, I'd say ganas, right? Yes. Another one is no hay mal que por bien no venga. In other words, every cloud has a silver lining. Every problem has a solution. The last one I'll share with you is saber es poder. Knowledge is power. They would tell me they can take away your car, they can take away your house, but they can never take away your education. Their teachings, love and support have shaped me who I am today. Your family and friends have been that support for you. Our personal and professional journeys are never walked alone. You've juggled jobs, families, and responsibilities. You have faced hardships and setbacks, but you never allowed them to define you. Instead, you grew from them, learned from them, and found the courage to keep on going, even when it would have been easier to give up. Being here tonight, you have proven to yourselves that those around you and that you have perseverance and the grit, ganas, to succeed no matter the obstacles. And for that, we are so proud of you. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, Remember that this accomplishment tonight is just the beginning. Take the next step in your education and career because we need you. We need your talents and your perseverance in this community because it's our community, it's nuestra comunidad. So thank you and good luck. Your future and successes are awaiting you. Buena suerte y échenle ganas. Gracias. Thank you, Chancellor Duran Cerda. CAPE is a transitional school that works with about 300 youth each year to help them re-engage in school to fulfill their educational goals. This work is done with the partnership with the juvenile courts. Representing the courts tonight is the Honorable Michael J. Butler, who is, a, who is currently our presiding judge on the juvenile court bench. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Michael Butler. Good evening, and thank you so much for having me here. I'm really honored to be part of this celebration and to share in this time of, of, with all of you folks. I know I speak for all of you and myself when I say we are so proud of what you've done. It, it is not lost on us, all of you out there, and me, how, how hard this was to get your high school equivalency diploma and how difficult uh, it can be, especially when you think about the challenges that you've undertaken to do it. So uh, I hope that you take this opportunity to be proud of yourself and to understand that you should pat yourself on the back for this accomplishment. And now I get to the part where the chancellor and I thought about all the same things, so I can skip over what she's already said. <laughs> but it is, it goes without saying that anybody that you look up to has been on a path that started with 
a, a beginning and a first success. And please, I urge you to take this time for this first success and to build upon it and to think about your dreams and aspirations and hopefully this will lead you to where you want to go. Uh, now is that point in time where old people like me try to impart some sort of wisdom. We are not smarter than you. We're just older, so we hear more things as we go along. And, but I will leave you with one statement that I think is as true as anything as I've ever heard. Remarkably, it came from late night talk show host Conan O'Brien. <laughs> but he said, he said, if you work really hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. And so I wish you the best on your, your continuing journey, and I look forward to seeing those amazing things that happen for all of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge Butler. Now we will hear from our Pima County Superintendent of Schools and my boss, Dustin Williams. Dustin has a passion for education and for making sure Pima County residents have access to a high quality education. Please join me in welcoming Superintendent Dustin Williams. Does everybody know we're in the Linda Ronsant Center? Give it up, let's go, come on. Come on, it's the Linda Ronstadt Center. You guys know, no more homework tonight, you know that, right? Thank God, right, homework, oh my God, homework and me in school, forget about it, right? Uh, the congratulatory remarks are, are something that's very, very special. As the chief education officer in this entire county, there's 15 counties, so you have one elected county school superintendent, it's like your county attorney, your treasurer, recorder, and so forth, supervisors. You have one job, and that's to make sure that the trajectory of students, no matter what age, the trajectory of students is going in a positive direction. That positive direction starts with steps. It's like links on a chain. The only way to get those links on the chain or those steps are by dedicated individuals and families that support one another for a common goal. And today that goal is a graduation and a cool graduation ceremony we are at. <laughs> one thing I know in my heart today is a lot of people come to my office, a lot of human beings, and they say, Dustin, What's the secret? What moves the needle? And this is what moves the needle. It's people that have put their blood, sweat, and tears into something that means something purposeful, something that's gonna gain an edge for them on the next step in their life. And everything is about an edge and how you can get to that next goal in your life for that next step to do something great. And we all know life has challenges and we've heard this before already today. And we also know that life sometimes is cruel. And it can take things away from you in a second. But it can't take certain things that you've earned and deserved. And one of those is a diploma and the steps of education or the, or the rings on the bracket or a lock or a chain. And their chain is much stronger and their bracket is just beginning. And you've now opened up the doors to new successes for whatever it is your heart desires, whatever goal they want to attain, they know they have the support of some amazing leaders like you today, sitting in the chair and showing up tonight, putting in the extra work during class, staying open a little bit late to help them with the GED. Just taking that one bit of care, you made the difference, but you put the work in, and you had to complete it, and you did it. And you're going to do some amazing things that we all know that. We're all here for you on your next incredible journey. Congratulations on your success. Congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you, Superintendent Williams. 
Each year, Pima Community College Adult Basic Education for College and Career provides thousands of individuals in Pima County with classes in reading, writing, math, and English, as well as digital literacy and workforce preparation. PCC provides these classes at adult learning centers like El Pueblo Liberty, El Rio, and 29th Street, on PCC campuses, at community sites, and even online. CAPE provides the GED HSC preparation classes to youth involved in the juvenile justice system each year. And it is our honor to provide these classes to help folks like you graduates prepare for and pass the GED test so that you can attain your high school equivalency diploma. All year long, Pima, Pima, individuals all across Pima County study, pass parts of the GED exam, complete a civics test, and earn their HSC diplomas. All of you on, here stage, on the stage here tonight represent the more than 500 community members in Pima County who earned their diplomas this year as well. Tonight, we will have the privilege of hearing from two of those graduates who persisted and who achieved their diplomas this year. Our first student speaker tonight is Mario Acosta. Oh. Mario has overcome a lot to achieve his HSC diploma and to be here with us tonight. So please join me in welcoming Mario to the podium to share his story. Hello everyone, my name is Mario Acosta. I'm a former student and fellow graduate of the Pima County One Stop Program. And I'd like to thank everybody for being here and showing their support for all of our graduates today. I won't take too much of your time. I just wanted to share a little about my journey. I was originally a Marana attendee participating in multiple sports throughout the school year. Football, baseball, wrestling. I wasn't horrible either, depending on who you'd ask. Though unfortunately, the grades weren't always habitually up to standards, sometimes just enough to get by for the games and combines that week. Embarrassed and ashamed on the sidelines because I didn't squeak it by that day in class, so someone took my position on the field. Everyone suited up around you, ready for war, and you're not in your uniform. You're mad at your coach, you're mad at your teacher, but you know deep down it's because you simply didn't work hard enough in the classroom where it counted. I used to scoff off such statements. The fear of my classmates judging me as a lesser individual, falling behind more and more as time went on, I stopped attending and vanished, gaining my fair share of learning the hard way. It hasn't been easy. Stubborn and turned my head away from what was important for some time, and I think we are all guilty of doing that one way or another every once in a while. At first, starting the process to achieve my GED was a little overwhelming. You're relearning all the material that your eyes are registering as something almost foreign, but, you're no but your brain is noticing familiarity. I was afraid of failing, I was in my head, sometimes couldn't get down to the center for several weeks due to life circumstances. You know who was calling me or texting me, checking in every week to see if they'd be seeing me down here? They'd emphasize and relate, say me too, or I've been there, why don't you come down here if you can and we can figure it out together and get you doing some work to get your mind off of it. They'd regularly make game plans with me to keep me set and on track, making sure I'd knock out a subject just as fast as I started studying it. Along with my brother, my significant other, my aunt, my grandparents, and their own unwavering love and support and wisdom that I'm blessed to have, I could not have asked for a better group of people to have helped me get along. Kiana, Faye, Gerald, Larry, Lance, Jamil, all key people who have been part of mine and everyone's success here today and in the future graduations to come. All of you showed me the true meaning of what it means to do it and what it goes into reshaping of a young person. I wanted to quit, I wanted to give up and cave. My brain physically hurt with the pressure I was putting on myself to learn the material and not fail. I stuck with it and persevered, got some extra study time in and slowly started seeing those practice test scores start to increase. When learning that I passed, I was overcome with accomplishment and happiness. In that moment, I will forever try to harness it and apply to life. This program showed me what it was like to fully commit to myself, and I will forever be thankful to it because it's only up from here. Thank you all again for being here, and let's hear it for the rest of the graduates.
Thank you so much, Mario, for sharing your story. We all have the pleasure of working with Mario as he studied for his GED, and we could not be more proud and excited for him tonight. Our next speaker is Arnold P. Montiel, Jr. Thank you. Hello, my name is Arnold P. Montiel, Jr. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. My pronouns are he, him, el. First of all, I would like to thank my Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I would also like to thank... I would also like to thank my wife and my family for putting up with me through this, for, through this journey. I am a student at Pima Community College and my major is liberal arts with a specialty in social services. I am currently a member of the Pima College Student Senate and I hold the position of chair. In addition, I am an ambassador for adult basic education and I am a member of the Adult Education Honor Society. Thank you. I was awarded Student of the Year for the year 2024 by the Arizona Association for Lifelong Learning and Essential Education. In October of 1976, a tragedy struck my family when my father was shot by the local police. My 19-year-old cousin died in this incident my eldest sisters and I were forced to drop out of school to help my mother pay bills and feed my three younger siblings. I was in the middle of the 10th grade and did not have any work experience, so I was forced to work in the construction trade. About seven years into my construction career, I suffered a couple of work-related accidents. Now let's fast forward to August 22nd, 2019. I was hospitalized and underwent a double back surgery to my lower lumbar for damages that occurred years ago in those construction accidents. While recovering from surgery, I began to wonder if I would be able to do my current job because it can be physically demanding. So I inquired about GED classes and enrolled at Pima Community College Adult Basic Education because I realized that not many companies will hire you if you do not have a high school equivalency diploma. I did my reading and writing class first because I felt more confident in those subjects. One day in class, I had a debate about the Spanish conquest over the Aztecs. Although it was quite intense, we never argued with each other. This exchange was enough for my instructor to invite me to an educator's collaborative on Zoom. The educator and instructors all knew of the expectations of the students but wanted a perspective of a student's expectations of the instructors. That is why I was invited to attend as a student. That one Zoom catapulted me into student leadership and ambassador training. This one instructor exposed a side of me that I was unaware of. The ability to speak was already there, I just needed to practice it. Now I have done several presentations on adult basic education and even several for co -Aid. As a student leader while in adult basic education classes, I was nominated to represent adult basic education on the Pima College Student Senate and was voted to the position of chair by my fellow student senate leaders. On September 30th of 2023, I completed my GED studies and obtained my high school equivalency. I truly believe that these extracurricular activities helped me with retention because these programs made me feel that I was part of something bigger than me. It would take the rest of the night to mention by name all the wonderful staff and fellow students that helped me tremendously. So I will send out a big old thank you to all, but with a special shout out to Kathy Christensen and Mr. Alfredo Mesa. Thank you all very much for coming. Wow, Arnold, 
I have had the pleasure of watching your growth as a student and as a leader, and I'm thrilled to be able to celebrate with you tonight. Thank you for sharing your story. You can probably see in the program that we had hoped to have a third speaker with us tonight, but she was unable to attend at the last minute. So I'd like to share just a little bit about her story. Aretha T. Varner is a mother of five who has always worked hard to support her family. A few years ago when she moved to Tucson, she signed up for free classes at Pima Community College with the goal of getting her GED. She soon enrolled in the Integrated Basic Education and Skills Training, or IBEST program, where she was able to pursue her HSC diploma and study for college at the same time. As she worked toward her HSC diploma, Aretha not only passed some GED tests, she also completed college-level coursework in the logistics and supply chain management and IT programs. With those courses, she became one of the very first learners in our state to achieve the HSC diploma through the High School Equivalency Plus Career Readiness Pathway. She's a pioneer. Yeah. Now, Aretha has earned not one, but two college certificates, one in logistics and supply chain management and one in IT support tech. And, right? And, isn't that great? <laughs> and she's not done. She's on the verge of completing her associate's degree in computer science, and she plans on transferring to the University of Arizona to continue her education. And while Aretha couldn't be here with us tonight, she will watch this video and this celebration in the very near future. So I'd like to ask all of you to join me in giving Aretha one more big round of applause for all of this she's achieved. Often in the process of pursuing an, the HSS diploma, there are multiple priorities to balance and challenges to overcome. That's part of what makes each person's story so special. Let's give all our speakers a big round of applause. Thank you for sharing. And graduates, we hope all of you share your inspirational stories and feel proud of what you accomplished. Tonight's speakers listed some of the teachers and staff who have helped them in their educational journeys. Each year, dedicated instructors, staff, testers, coaches, volunteers, advisors, tutors, detention officers, and leaders work with learners to help them achieve their educational goals. These are folks who have helped to make it possible for our graduates tonight. So graduates, if you had a special teacher or staff member that made a difference for you, give them a shout out. Let's hear it. Any special teachers? Kathy. Robin. 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 Let's give them all a big hand, those instructors and tutors. This is, this is such an exciting day. Getting your HSC and getting to this stage today is a huge achievement, and you have a lot to be proud of. And now that you have your HSC diploma, there are new opportunities that open up to you, graduates. Perhaps you're thinking about new or better employment, and we hope you're thinking about continuing on with your education. No matter the path that got you here to your HSC diploma, we hope you're thinking about continuing on at Pima Community College. You have already proven yourselves to be learners. Why not get started in a program that leads to a certificate or a degree? In your packets today, you have information about how to apply to take your next steps at Pima Community College. And Pima staff are ready to help you get started, to help you find and access financial assistance, and to help you get enrolled in classes. Our scholarships team and Pima Foundation even have scholarships that you can apply for just because you are an HSE graduate. I hope you'll take advantage and apply today because we all want you to keep going. 
and I can't wait to see all of you again when you graduate from Pima Community College with a certificate or a degree. Right? How many of you are going to keep going? All right. Yeah. <laughs> and now the moment we've been all waiting for. In just a moment, we will start calling the names of graduates. So get your cameras ready and get ready to cheer on your favorite graduate and all, the, all of tonight's graduates. Wherever you are in the audience or out there watching on live stream, we want to hear from you. All right, are y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Can we have the audio folks turn on the other microphone too? Hold on one second. Arnold P. Montiel Jr. Mario Acosta. Blake Allen Craig Winhold. What's up, man? Samuel Bramet. Peggy Marie Holman. Lori A. Jansen Shortell. Carson Heverner. Christian Conley. Brian Mifflin, Jr. Raymond Raven Ison. Martin Sabori Ballesteros. Jax Pisano. Joshua Sullivan Villa. Alexander Odin Delwish. Jeremy Bondi. Alize Unique Lopez. Brianna A. Gonzalez. Jenna Lynn Cortez. Jaden Carlos. Cameron Joseph Thompson. Anthony Gonzalez. Alex Riteria. Dylan Scott Ballou. Montana Pettigrew. Maria Elena Elias Escamilla. Christina Cortez. Abel 
Marin Almazan Jr. Jeremiah Kleckner. Manuel Pesqueda. Itzi Pala Nala. Destiny Isabella Feria. Isabel Grace Watson. Michael Barnes. Saul Martinez. <laughs> Jessica Lanigan. Ricardo Molinares Jr. Fabian Pedraza. Esther Bascom. Cielo Mesa Franco. Angel Landeros. Nicholas Nacho. Dusty Gray Gray. Martin Lopez Montiel. Jennifer Michelle Ramos. Anna Lilia Ruiz Rivera. Adrian Nunez. Daniel Lewis Magruder. Cheyenne Marie Bryan. Gabrielle Rose Fennec Adams. Mason Stark. Alina Devon Ortiz. Harley Escalante. Jeanette Carillo. Mila Leilani Olguin. Jenny Monteverde. Amber Owens. Glenda Espriu. Crystal Mary Valdez. Iliana Bernal. Fernando Miguel Soto III. Roberto Sanchez Salas. Jamie Kelly. Robert Sarapicio. Erica Marie Lebeau. Jade Childress. Olivia Marshall. Isaiah R. Flores. Congratulations. 
Monica Rose Brady. Jennifer Fowler. Levi J. Kerstad. Santino Chavez. Go ahead and go to Olivia Eloisa Chairo. Ashley Annette Murieta. Rachel Michelle Corella. Don Shabika. Elijah Dowdy. Lucia Biashikine. Yesenia Gonzalez. Perla Vianney Arredondo Gomez. Diana Sanchez Estrada. Lee Cameron. Leda Cardwell Mims. Haley Mosley. everybody. What an incredible group of graduates, right? What a great group of graduates. Woo! So we, so now as we get ready to wrap things up, as we get ready to, as this evening is coming to a close, I would like to invite one more special guest up to share some closing remarks. Please join me in welcoming to the podium my boss, Dr. Ian Rourke, the Vice President, uh, the Vice Chancellor for Workforce Development and Innovation at Pima Community College. Welcome, Ian. All right, Th thank you very much, Lori. I am immensely proud. I am immensely proud of all of the faculty, the instructors, staff, and leaders who have helped these individuals cross the stage tonight. I'm entirely proud of all of you who have supported them when it was going well and when it was not, because without you, without family, they may not have made it, but for your strength and your resolve and your faith in them, but I'm mostly proud of you. You are the reason why we are all here and why we do what we do every day. <laughs> to, our, to our speakers, to Mario, to Arnold, and Aretha, who was not able to be here, but she will hear this. You are not only HSE graduates, but you are leaders. But you know what? Every single one of you on this stage is not only a high school equivalency graduate, you are a leader because you took that step. You had the courage, or as Dr. Duran Serra said, the ganas, to not only make a decision for yourself, but something that will change our community 
and potentially generations that follow you from here on out forever and ever because of what you did that first time you decided to do this. It's because of you. And as the judge said, there are many more opportunities. But also, what I'll say is that the finish line for today is the starting line for tomorrow. There are many more races to run, and the only limit that you will have is to which ones you choose to not enter. Our mission at Pima Community College is to empower every learner for every goal every day. And you have accomplished that goal because of what you have done to succeed, you put in the work, and you did it together. But there are so many more things that we are going to be here for you should you take, decide to take that next step. You've already proven it. You have the courage. You have the heart. You've already made the accomplishment. You have shown that you can set any goal for yourself and that you can achieve that. So with that, I wish you the very best because I'm the only thing that stands between you and even more partying and celebration. <laughs> so party well, but party wise, because you have earned every minute of it. Congratulations, HSC graduated class of 2024. All right, everybody, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to ask our graduates to stand up. All right, graduates, move those tassels from left to right. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, this is the graduating class of 2024. One more time while they cue the music. <laughs> 